Breaking news. New law. Lagos may take over Tinubu Fashola Amber Day's case from EFCC. A lot is going on currently today and our politicians are very crafty. Okay. And again, it's not as if the EFCC is a proper genuine body that see to it that crime and cases that should be looked into to ensure that there is transparency, especially with those in public office are looked after anyway, genuinely. Most times the government in place use them as their backing dog to chase their, those, I mean, those who are not, uh, uh, you know, in line with them. So it's not like they are, I mean, it's the same side of a coin. It's the same coin, okay? It's just the head and the tail. It's the same one, it's the same one thing together. So new law coming up now is that, um, but, uh, you know, Fashola may have to handle, handle Tinubu's case. So you can imagine Tinubu's case in the hands of uh, Babajide Sanwolu, the very governor of the state. You can imagine what the outcome will be. Okay, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. God bless you. New law. Lagos may take over Tinubu Fashola Ambodis case from EFCC. A new law signed by Governor Babajide Sanwolu of Lagos State mandates agencies like the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, the Independent Corrupt Practice and Order Related Offense Commission, and other anti grief agencies to hand over corrupt cases to the state government has learned. According to the legislative titled Lagos State Public Complaint and Anti-Corruption Commission Law, signed by Babajide Sanwolu last week, a copy of which was obtained by our correspondent on Saturday, a new anti-corruption agency will have the executive right to investigate financial crimes and corrupt cases involving the finances of Lagos State government. Section 13, subsection 3 of the law reads, The Commission should, upon the comments of this new law, take over the investigation of all anti-corruption and financial crime cases involving finances, assets of legal state government being investigated by any other agencies. Section 13, subsection 5 also states the Commission shall have the power to the executive of every other agencies or body to investigate the to co investigate and cooperate the investigation of corruption and financial crimes involving finances assets of any legal state government that has ever been currently three former governors of legal state bola tinubu baba tunde fashola and akimumi amber Abado are said to be under investigation by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, an anti grief agency, is also investigating the Speaker of the House of Lagos State House of Assembly. Lagos State House of Assembly, Obaze, who helped facilitate the passage of the law, has signed it into law. The EFCC had in November last year written a letter to the Code of Conduct Borough asking it to make available the asset declaration form of Tinubu and Fashola as part of a wider probe. However, the details of Fashola probe have never been revealed. The Commission is also looking into petitions that Tinubu allegedly enriched himself by using a tax con consultancy form Alpha Beta to divert Lagos fund and commit tax evasion to the tune of 100 billion naira. The former governor was also reported to the EFCC for transporting cash via Bolivan to his home on the eve of 2019 presidential election. Similarly, the anti grief agency in 2019 commenced probing. Ambody for allegedly 9.9 .9 billion naira fraud. Baze has also was also grilled by the EFCC in October 2020, why his account was frozen by the cuts. He is accused of mismanaging 
public funds running into hundreds of millions of naira. While the Lagos Speaker denied most of the allegations, he admits that 80 million is as said code was approved for the training of wives of 20 lawmakers in Dubai. Learned that ESCC has also written to the Lagos Inland Revenue C Services demanding information that could lead to its investigation of its former chairman, Babatunde Farouk, and the new law. However, the LIRS would have to hand over all information to the new Lagos State anti grief Agency, which has its executive right to probe government finances. However, the new law which will ensure the creation of a Lagos State anti grief Agency mandates all agencies investigating finances of the state to hand over the cases to the state government. According to the law, the commission shall have the power to investigate any person or administrative actions taken by any ministry, department, agency, or parallel of the state government or local government. The new anti-grief agency shall investigate any offenses under the criminal law of the state in relations to corruption, criminal cases, abuse of office, offenses relating to administration of justice, obtaining by false pretense, cybercrime, fake news, interception of emails, fraudulent dealing with property debtors. The law which empowers the agency to investigate anyone who cannot explain his or her source of income states that the anti grief agency shall not be subject to the direction or control of any other authority. The Commission is, however, bound from investigating cases that are pending before the Lagos State House of Assembly, the Lagos State Executive Council, or any courts in Lagos. Corruption cases investigating members of Nigerian police force and armed forces cannot be investigated by the commission, except acts of corruption commitment committed by private individuals in Lagos State. When asked if EFCC will hand over its case to the new Lagos agency, the spokesman for the commission, Wilson Huajiri, said he would call back. He said, however, he's yet to do any press release on the issue. So you can see that our government are very crafty, okay? So they put laws to keep and to watch their backs. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.